Betsy and today we have a fun video. We're going to be testing out the new Natasha Denona Retro Palette. Now I know I'm late on the bandwagon with this video. I've been sick so yeah it's going up late but I am super excited for this. I love Natasha's formula and I love a good pink burgundy color story. This is what she looks like. So this is one of Natasha Denona's midi palettes. So this is $65. So we're gonna start off by swatching and doing a look. Now I have done, I think one or two looks with this already. So the first shade we have is Glitz. Then we have Andy. Then we have Judge mod you see how nice and pigmented her shadows are i mean that's part of what i love about them is hers are such good good quality then we have vivian groove apart psychedelic and i think that is my favorite shade in the palette even though you can barely see there we go on my arm I'm terrible at doing swatches. Then we have Gogo, -Go, Patty, Swing, Nude Mauve, which is a repeat. There's actually a couple of repeat shades in this. I don't remember which ones they all are, but it's also if you have like the she's in parties if there are so many palettes that are like that the whatever or, or as if from color pop so you don't technically need it but she is a beautiful color story and then that one was nude mob i forgot rebellion this is rebellion or did i that's rebellion doesn't look very dark then we have hello and amore so that is the whole color story so as you can see it's very pinky very pretty and i just upped my dose last night on my medication so if you're is that a bruise i guess that is a bruise um so if i'm a little bit out of it more so today just know that so just to kind of give you a heads up we're gonna start with some eye tapes now these are different these came from shein whenever i ordered some eyeshadow palettes i got these came with it so we're gonna try out the banana ones <laughs> so they're kind of weird though these are very weird and i have primed my eyes with the mac soft ochre paint pot so let's start off with this is a ColourPop E15, and we're gonna go in with the shade Vivian up here, which is a nudie pink. Perfect. And I adore Natasha's matte formula. I love her mattes. Uh, sometimes she's got good shimmers, sometimes not. Um, and in this palette, I will tell you that it is lacking the main types of shimmers that I like because y'all know I prefer something that has quite a bit of sparkle in it at least for my personal preference I like glitter I like sparkle I like shine I don't want it to be a satin on me but and remember some of these cream shadows these cream to powders don't swatch the best but they go on the eyes better now we're going to go into nude mauve okay and put that in the outer crease but you see what i'm saying like this is the same brush this is that color see how much darker that looks on the eyes and that is another thing about natasha's shadows are they build up on themselves nicely like some of the best building shades that I've seen. So it makes it very easy or easy to me to work with. That's why I like them so much. Now I know that they're expensive, but they do run sales. Natasha's website does run sales as well as Sephora does run sales as well. I mean, you'll get Natasha palettes every once in a while, especially when something's being discontinued for 50% off. 
Now, I'm not saying all of her palettes have been hits, but most of the ones that I have, have been. Okay. Need to bring that up just a little bit because I'm trying to make it match on both eyes. Anyways, but yeah, I feel like she has a phenomenal, phenomenal formula. Natasha really does. And I think that's part of the reason why I enjoy it because it is, and it's consistent across the board. You know, sometimes like Melt, I'm looking at you. I love Melt. I love their packaging. I love everything about the brand, but I feel like sometimes there are some consistency issues, but not with Natasha. So I think what I'm going to go into next because I haven't used it is we're going to go into Groove and this is a ColourPop E16. And we're going to keep that in the outer area and build it up really nicely. See how pretty that is? Perfect. But, I mean, you see how easy these are to work with. And I want shadows that are easy to work with. I don't want to have to work hard for an eyeshadow look. You know, I know I've had people say before whenever I complain about a palette that I feel like it's challenging to work with or something. It's like, oh, you don't know how to do makeup. You don't know this. Well, no, I'm spending a lot of money on it and I want my palettes to be enjoyable the way that I like to work with makeup. If they don't work the way that I want them to, I'm not gonna reach for them, you know? And I know a lot of people feel that way and that's okay. So this is that original color pot brush and just kind of going back and smoothing over the edges. See how pretty that looks? See how blended out and like, I mean, it just does it itself. So I think that's what I'm gonna do as far as mattes go. I am gonna grab a little flat brush of some type. This is a concealer brush from it Cosmetics. We're gonna grab our NYX Glitter Glue. Okay. And we're gonna blend that out and put a shadow all over the lid. And I think I'm gonna do Psychedelic because as I said, that's my favorite shade in this eyeshadow palette. I think it's just really good. I mean, now don't get me wrong, the mattes are amazing, but you know, I'm sure I have these colors a bajillion times over. Or should I use glitz? You know what, actually we're gonna use glitz. I haven't used glitz yet, not on the eyes. I have used Psychedelic on the eyes. So I'm gonna take and tap that on. But you see what I'm saying, like that's pretty, but it's not sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. And sparkle, sparkle, sparkle tends to be what I prefer, but it's okay. Perfect. Awesome sauce. What do you think? I think it looks super good. And that's part of it too, is I mean, you can see how easy this eye look is. I don't fast forward. I typically try not to cut anything out. I might start doing that. If you think my videos, let me know down below if I should add a little bit more editing into it. You know, I wanna make sure people are happy with my content and want to continue to watch it. But yeah, I'm just taking Groove, which is the color that I used on the outer V, and just kind of patting it over the edge on this back side of it, and then making sure everything's blended. Perfect. So, the tops of the eyes are done. I'm gonna go off camera, do the rest of my face, and we will come back and do the lower lash line. So, I'm back and I have the rest of my face on. I'm using a new foundation, the Beauty Blender Drops. I'll let you know, or the skin tint. I have the Patrick Ta She's So Sculpted Bronzer on. The Wildberry Blush from Makeup by Mario. I got this new highlighter. This is the Stella Prismatic Highlighter from Flower Beauty. And see how pretty that is? And then on my lips, I have Divine Nude by Mama Pat because 
I wanted something that kind of blended in with the purple. And then last but not least in my waterline, I have Plum Smash. Because I feel like a lot of the other stuff isn't super important. All those other things are kind of interchangeable, but if you want to recreate the look, you don't have to have the same bronzer blush highlight, you know what I mean? You just go with what you have. It's just a kind of a gold highlight and kind of go from there. So I need to find a little dense brush. Actually, I'm gonna use the same brush and we're gonna go back into Groove and we're going to apply that under the eye and bring it in as well up on the top. There we go. I love these so much. Oop. That's quite a bit in there. It definitely makes my eyes stand out. Now, the one thing I have noticed doing like green hair or like any kind of crazy colored hair, I find like doing super colorful looks a little bit more challenging because it's like I want it to blend with my eye look. Look how good that looks. I mean, there's just no getting better. And I'm going to go into Psychedelic and we're gonna use that as the inner corner, which is just a beautiful icy pink. And apply that to the inner corner. Now the brushes I just used, which was the blendy brush, is the same color pop I used on the top. And same thing for the bottom. See how bright that looks? That looks so good. See what I'm saying? Psychedelic to me is just definitely the best shade in this palette. At least in my personal opinion. See how nice and bright that makes it? Okay, so I'm gonna take the same brush and I'm gonna go into, or no, I'm gonna get a clean brush and I'm gonna go into Mod, which is this off-white shade down here. And we're gonna use that to highlight the brow bone. See how pretty that looks? And it does add, it just kind of lifts the brow ever so slightly. That's why I like it. Sometimes I forget to show this part cause like I don't always think about it, but it really does lift the eyebrows. So. This is the final look with the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. Now, here are some of my thoughts on it. So I have the mini retro. I didn't pull it out. It's been kind of crazy around here, so I didn't pull out any comparisons. Um, to me, personally, I think that they're sisters. I don't think that they really go together. To me, this color story doesn't scream retro, if that makes sense. Um, to me, this is, you know, it's a beautiful plummy purple, color story, but it doesn't scream retro to me. And another thing about this is, is if you have the melt cheese and parties, the, all that I think from color pop, um, the naughty nudes from Huda, Huda beauty, there are so many color stories that are very similar to this, that if you've got it, you don't need this. I think it's beautiful. $65 I think is definitely worth it. And if you can get it on sale, I would recommend picking it up on sale. But I think it's a great palette, but if you have these plummy colors, you don't need it. But I do love the formula. I just wish her shimmers, like I feel like she used to do a lot more of this kind of style of shimmer and she's kind of went more towards like this style of shimmer, which is, a, it, it's still pretty. It's just not everything that I hoped it would be. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down below. And if you hit the notification bell icon next to it, that will notify you when I post new videos, which is typically Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with tons of bonus content thrown in. But I guess that's it. So we'll see y'all later.